Hi, welcome to the first part of this four part series about digital identity and today we're going to touch on identity and integration. So if you want to add digital identity to your garments you have to choose a carrier for the identity that goes with the garment, is with the garment, is attached to the garment. Two consumer friendly ways of doing this is QR codes or NFC shields. QR codes is easy to add to ex example the care label on the garment. NFC ships can be hidden behind a badge or inside a label. So once you have chosen one of these two carriers that fits your garments and your needs, then the consumer has the possibility to scan the identity as long as you have paired the carrier with an identity platform. And what an identity platform can do is to present data based on the identity. So the basic data in a digital identity is kind of boring, but it's the data that is required to describe the garment. So think of it as a passport for your garment. But as soon as we have a digital identity, then we can use that identity to integrate other systems. Because we have an identity that describes the garment in a unique way. So two pair of jeans have different identities. So it's unique for each garment. So we can use that identity to integrate other systems and platforms to fetch even more data to enrich the experience for the consumer. So we can reach something like the thing you see to the right, where we have fetched information from the e-commerce system, marketing system and a PIM system for example. And that makes it a much more sexy experience for the consumer and we can integrate marketing to expose uh, targeted up sales for example or events and campaigns. So I hope that explains the basics of a digital identity and how we can add an identity to a garment and use that identity to integrate with other platforms and services. So next time we're going to talk about authenticity based on the knowledge of the identity on the garment. How can we ensure authenticity? But until then, if you want to play around and look at the feeling of a user experience example, then you can scan this QR code on your screen and play around with it. And I'll see you next time. Bye.